This is from Ian Hartz, who actually, analytics guy, usually has some stuff. This one, you know, worst preseason offensive lines, ru uh, rush yards before contact um, per carry. Browns are 32nd. Uh, pressure rate allowed, Browns are 32nd. The, the, the unstated there is the Browns haven't played anybody that is a starter, and they've barely played uh, guys on their two deep. So, yeah, they've, they've looked bad, but these are guys that are fighting to find uh, a spot on a 53-man roster, not guys that are supposed to be playing uh, significant snaps. Yeah, and for the most part, they're guys that are fighting for practice squad. You know, most of the guys that are on the 53 haven't been getting major run because the team feels confident in who they are. So they're getting a real long look at their depth. And just as you would expect, and it's not just isolated to the Browns across the league, you get to the bottom of your second string, third string offensive line, you're going to see abysmal play if the other team's playing competent players. And that's what you're seeing. Those numbers reflect that. This, there's no way to spin it. Now, you can look at individual efforts and see a couple guys that you, you have shown something to you on the offensive line, but as a whole, and the offensive line has to be graded as a whole. It's the one unit that does this. Uh, you, there's no way to spin that they've been anything other than bad. All right, so why do I say that? This Again, we, we actually used this yesterday, and I thought it was interesting enough. I want to bring it back. Uh, Cleology. Starter snaps, 58 out of 2,684, it's 2%. Second string snaps, 371 out of that 2,684, that's 14%. Total snaps from guys on the two deep. So the two deep is when you're prepping to do a game, you know you're two deep. That's, that's a, a little inside tip for you. 429 snaps, 16%. Third string snaps or lower, um, it's 84%. Most positions do not have third strings. <laughs> no. So these are guys that are not expected to be contributing uh, once the games start to count. 84% of the snaps fall into that category. I think that tells a few stories. Uh, one, you have a very talented roster, and there's a lot of guys who aren't competing. They, they're, their place is cemented. So you're not going to see them. You're not, they're not going to risk it. They know who they are. So they're kind of test driving the rest of their roster out. You know, and also I think this also shows them kind of being overly cautious. You know, they saw what had happened over the course of last season, how many players you lost along the way, and they're just trying to mitigate that. They're not trying to lose any tread off the tires from guys they know are going to play meaningful roles. So you're, you're, really, you're really testing the depths of your roster. And just like anyone, you know, there's 90 players out there. And, you know, here on, I think, the 27th, I think you're going to see 1,500 guys cut across the league. You know, and that's what the Browns are really test driving here. You're really testing it out, see what these younger players can do, Get them, giving them opportunities to audition, not just for the Browns and their practice squad, but for the other 31 teams. You know, so you're seeing that more than ever the Browns are playing lower into their depth for the majority of these games. Now, what, what has been consistent is the weeks of the joint practices, the Browns hardly ever play anybody. So that, that was pretty consistent. Week one was a little jarring to see not many guys get that much time. You know, but I, I would say this next week you're going to see people that play meaningful roles play probably up to a quarter, and then it's going to be right back to that. Right. I, I And, again, you can argue should they do it this way, shouldn't they do it this way. There are teams that play more of their starters than guys on their two deep. The Browns, for whatever reason, have not. Yeah, now, if you want to – that's a completely different debate than, oh, they look like garbage in the preseason. Well yeah. – uh, it, it, should they be playing their starters again? There's, there's pluses and minuses. The only thing you'd need, you know, what if Miles Garrett goes and and tears something, or you know, one of your stars goes out and you find out he's going to miss half the season? Then all of a sudden it's oh, we shouldn't have played him in a meaningless game. So, you know, as yeah. as with everything, hindsight's twenty twenty.